Does butter really need to be refrigerated? This question stirs quite the debate in kitchens everywhere. Imagine the scene. One block of butter sits comfortably on a countertop. Another hides away in the chilly confines of a refrigerator. Each tells a different story about the household's culinary habits. Diving into the creamy depths of this dairy delight, butter consists primarily of butter fat, along with some water and milk proteins. When milk or cream is churned, it separates into butter and buttermilk, with the fat rising to the top. This butter fat is where butter gets its rich flavor and smooth texture. Now, the crux of the matter lies in the preservation of this flavor and texture. The general consensus supported by the U.S. Department of Agriculture states that butter can safely grace your countertop for up to two days. Why just two days? Beyond this point, butter begins to welcome the kind of bacterial growth that could lead to spoilage and an unpleasant rancid taste. Consider the environment of your kitchen. Butter, like any food product, is susceptible to contamination. Each time a knife possibly carrying crumbs and germs dives into your butter, it introduces bacteria that thrive in the creamy, fatty environment. If you prefer your butter on the counter for easy spreading, consider opting for salted butter. The salt acts as a natural preservative, slowing down the process of spoilage. Unsalted butter, however, is more vulnerable and might just be playing a risky game with bacteria. For those who use margarine, remember it typically contains more water than butter. This higher water content increases the likelihood of bacterial growth, making it advisable to keep margarine refrigerated, especially if it's left out for more than a day. Special consideration should be given to unpasteurized or homemade butter. These varieties lack the bacterial inhibiting processes of commercial pasteurization, making refrigeration essential to prevent any foodborne illnesses. In summary, while it might be tempting to keep butter out for easy spreading, it's wise to store it in the refrigerator, particularly if it's unsalted or if your household includes individuals with heightened susceptibility to illness. If you choose to leave it out, limit this to a couple of days at most, ensuring it's kept in a cool, clean space. And always, always use a clean knife. By understanding these nuances, you ensure that every slice of toast or baked good is not only delicious but also safe. Happy spreading!